she just grabbed my little dude. Yeah, got the bike. <laughs> nice one. What's up, guys? So today I'm gonna show you uh, the best and easiest way to catch the bike. But first of all, uh, before I start this video, I really want to say big thanks to my uh, active subscribers for commenting my videos, liking them and watching them, of course. So thanks a lot, guys. If you can't watch this, so now it's better to skip because I will show you how to attach the hook to the live baiting fish. So live baiting is better to attach the hook to put like uh, right under the back fin. Just don't too deep because if you break the backbone, the fish won't move. So just like this, one hook in the back. That's it. Puts easy so and my tray the, the rig today is like simple thick wire trays with a couple of attached which one gets attached to the treble hook again one more attach just to, for quick changing and uh, float without any weights without nothing and simply just cast where you think it could be the pikes so yeah so i think i can see some pikes in here so i will put the bait in there just like that and that's it so let's wait Guys, there's a pike. She just grabbed my little dude. Yeah, got the pike. <laughs> nice one. Oh, that's. This feels like a quite good pike. Look at that, how it's bending my rod. Really? Feels like quite good. That's a nice pipe. That's a good size spike. Small perch, <laughs> big pipe. There you go, guys. That is uh, that it is uh, easiest way to catch the pike. Look this. Look at the size of the fish. It's actually quite nice fish. Get in the net. Nice. There we go. Oh, there is another one. Look at them. Look at the size of it. Nice fish. Let's get the hook out and let's try to catch another one. As I saw, as I saw another one, just messing around as well. There 
There you go. She's just basically she's got the hook just right in the in the corner of the lip. So yeah. Nice one. Nice fish guys. Look at that. So yeah, slip this back. I saw the, another one. There you go, 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 just swim away, nice one, yay, let's get another fish. I like the, I like that float sound, like and the fish is swimming, swimming, and like you can hear it. Bloop. The float is disappears. That's mean the plank is, she's got the bait. I'm not waiting, like usually people they say, like, oh, you need to wait a little bit more, you know, just to. <laughs> some people they would say that they need to wait a bit more for, to get, some, to make sure fish will swallow the fish and blah, blah. But. Uh, I don't want to do that thing as a bike, she can swallow too too deep, so I don't want to mess mess around. Better if I lose the fish than, than hurt that fish, you know. So nice, the one fish is in the net. And the um, one in the springtime, just down there, just from under the bridge, it was like, yeah. it was about they, eight pounds. Uh, usually, usually if you fish inside, yes, they do, <laughs> but I'm never fish inside, I'm just all the time fishing just down there. Oh, yeah, that's a pike. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice. Did you hear that? Like, the float that disappears. Was, are they hear I, I, like, I, did, I didn't saw that, but I, I felt like, I heard the sound like, Toop! like, what? So you know what I saw the light, the yeah. Room. And I saw the line going mm -hmm. out. Ah, this one is much smaller one than before. Ah, the light, live baiting is the easiest way to catch the pike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I was doing uh, lots of pie fishing when I was a kid. After I lost like interest in it, I guess I get too boring, you know. After that, I st when I move in the mid to Midlands, I start fishing again on the lures. So it was my biggest pike, 21 pounds, and they're like, wow. After I used the jig flies on another canal, 23 pounds. I catch one, you know, and I just sort of told like, nah, I need to get back on the pikes. But a couple days it wasn't successful, so I told I need to come for live baiting, you know. Because the live baiting is the easiest way to catch the pike, <laughs> even if they don't want to bite, they're all the time taking those small fish. <sighs> so I think I need to change my treble hook into a single one. Yeah, that's the one. It's actually nice pike like on the live baiting. Usually I was expect for today I was expecting small jack wakes. Yes. Nice now she's gonna stay there for at least 20 minutes <laughs> just to get rest. Once a year I try to do that easiest pike fishing on the canals, so which is a uh, live baiting. Of course, that baiting is, I believe, is much better. But you need to wait. And uh, with the live baiting, you basically just walking and watching for the pikes. When you see the pike, just lying somewhere in the margins, just cast out like about one meter, meter, one meter in front of the pike, and just wait, and let's and wait, and let's see what's what happens. You know, if the pike she's hungry, she's for sure she will come out. From those weeds and uh, or from the edges, and will strike that. 
I love to see when they're striking that small fish, like, you know, with the power, boom. So, yeah, guys, um, so keep watching and let's get some more pikes. You can see, guys, there's a pike just right after my, yeah, she's got, she got my, yeah, got it. Nice one. She got, ah, she's lost it. Oh, my gosh, she's less. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she got it. <laughs> Why? Uh, I lost. So that's it guys for today. So it was quite easy session. And the easiest, really easiest way to catch the pike without any head edge. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and comment down below and on the next video i will be shout shouting my 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 subscribers most active ones on on next video so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time